Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. These are the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, I want to talk about and also go into the scriptures, of course, about the biggest battle that we uh, are going to face in this truth is the battle of our mind or our spirit versus the flesh that we're in. Okay. The, our mind or spirit. Okay. You can use those words in a, uh, interchangeable. Okay. Uh, or they're interchangeable and our, our mind, our spirit is, um, in 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 our uh what's well, in our head okay up there in our uh, brain and uh is housed in this body that we're in this flesh okay and uh we we were uh groomed and brought up to where our minds were uh corrupted okay we were uh we came up in a gentile state of mind all of us you know and uh when we were in that state of mind okay it 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 uh it caused us to do works that were uh not in line or not in accordance with the scriptures okay we were not doing as com the 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 scriptures commanded okay or uh, the scriptures command us to do we were doing after the ways of uh, the so-called white man and wherever you so-called Negroes or the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are scattered at in this world. OK, who are the Israelites, according to this Bible, uh, are doing or are doing according to the ways of these other nations. OK. Now, the ones of us that the most high granted uh, grace and faith, we now have a defense because we can now fight the flesh with with this truth. We have the true understanding of, the, of this Bible. OK, but like I was saying, uh, the biggest battle that we're going to face in this truth. And I've heard this from the uh, Apostle Gabor. And, uh, and, and others, but I'm just speak. I, 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 it stands out in my mind. The Apostle Bar uh, spoke on this or speaks on this quite. Well, I'll just say he spoke on it to my remembrance uh, a lot in this truth since I've been in the truth. And uh, the scriptures back that up that the biggest battle we're going to face is our mind versus the flesh. OK, so I, what I want to do was just go ahead into the scriptures and bring out, like I said, I had a look. I did a word search on the word mind and uh, I got some scriptures together to back that up, that that is the biggest battle. Uh, and I'm just going to speak through the spirit uh, when I bring out these scriptures. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the book of Romans. 7 and 25 okay so this is the book of Romans chapter 7 and verse uh, 25 and this is Paul speaking it says I think Yahweh through Yahweh Shah Mashiach our Lord so then with the mind okay so then with the mind I myself serve the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but with the flesh, the law of sin. And if you read up, you know, I just read this last verse, but if you read this whole uh, chapter, pretty much Paul is going into how um, there's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. OK, and he's telling you how he's not. Perfect. He wants to do per or uh, want to be perfect, want to do or be completely righteous, but he can't because his spirit 
is inside of his flesh. Okay. Now, I'm not going to read all that. You can uh, go up and read it. Uh, but I want to hit that hit that uh, verse. And then what I want to do is jump to Romans, the eighth chapter and the 20th verse, because the reason uh, we're going through this battle and we can't be perfect because in your mind, you know, your mind tells you, look, you need to. That's not right. Don't do it. OK. Your flesh is saying, I don't I don't give a damn. Let's do it because it's going to make me feel good. So it's that decision you have to make. OK. I know what's right. Your mind knows what's uh, what's right, which, like I said in the beginning of this video, we have the scriptures as a defense. The ones of us that the most high have granted faith and grace to that. Now we know that we're Hebrew Israelites. We have a defense through the Holy Spirit. OK. These scriptures and in our mind, we know that what the scriptures say is right, but we in this flesh and, and, and the most high set it up to where we won't be able to obtain complete righteousness as long as we uh, are in this flesh. OK, so this is Romans, Romans 8 and 20. It says for the creature was made subject to vanity and we are the creature. Creatures, just like Yahweh said, any uh, let me find that scripture real quick if I can. Talks about becoming a new creature. Right, so I found the scripture is uh, Second Corinthians chapter five. Verse uh, 17, it says, therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, you know, <laughs> you <laughs> you have the uh, these wacky Christians that that are read that and believe. You know, may believe that a creature is talking about some. uh type of animal okay some type of vicious animal but this creature that is talk the scriptures is talking about right here is talking about us in particular uh us israelites and uh it's telling us over here in romans 8 and 20 it says for the creature was made subject the word subject mean under the rule okay was ma was made under the rule to vanity OK. Not willingly, but by reason of him, the him is the most high who has subjected and he has subjected the same in hope. OK. And the hope is that we hope to uh, obtain the new covenant, the fullness of the new covenant, which, to, which is to be perfect, to be completely righteous and that uh, in the new covenant. The most high is going to put and that's going to be the, you know, I don't want to spoil this lesson, but that'll be the last verse that I bring out. But the most high, he's going to put the laws in our mind. OK, in our was he's going to write the laws in our spirit, man. OK, and we're going to shed these these bodies that we got, these corruptible bodies so that that uh, that perfect spirit can dwell in the perfect uh, incorruptible body. OK. So the most high programmed us to go off. OK, so since we're still in this flesh, we're uh, we're going to go off and we're going to have to fight the flesh. OK. Um, in our mind. OK, this is all a, a mental battle. OK, a spiritual battle with yourself. OK. So from there, I would like to go. To uh, Ephesians two and three, Ephesians two and three. See the scriptures back up that, and I didn't realize that uh, the scriptures talked about 
this being a mental battle, you know, as much as far as using the word mind, this this thing is all about things that go on in your mind. OK, and transition into an action that you commit. OK, whether it's righteous or whether it's wicked. So this is Ephesians chapter two, verse three, it says. Ephesians 2 and 3, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the of the mind. OK, so it starts in the mind. OK, so your mind really has to be changed in order for your uh, actions that you do here on this planet Earth to change it all starts in, in the mind okay and that's what this verse is uh, expressing I'll read it again it says among whom also we all had our uh, conversation meaning our conduct in time past well let me read that it says among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind. It says, and we're by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Okay, because like I mentioned in the beginning of, of this video, we all came out of the world out of that Gentile state of mind. Okay. And um, everything starts in the mind. If you're going to commit a wicked act, that has to go through your mind, be processed, and then you go physically commit a, a act that's not uh, according to the law, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. Okay? If you're going to do something righteous, meaning you're going to go and rehearse um, the law, statutes, and commandments that are written in these scriptures, it starts in the mind. You think it in your mind, and then you go and perform it. Okay, so from there, I want to go to uh, Ephesians, Ephesians 4 and 17, and it reads, Ephesians 4 and 17, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, okay, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, Okay, so it's talk, the walk is talking about actions, okay? The, uh, the, your conduct here on this planet Earth, okay? It says, let me read that from the top. It says, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds. So it's all up here in our minds, Okay. Brothers, it's all up here in the mind. You fulfill the, the uh you fulfilling the lust of your flesh, it starts in the mind. That's what we just read, uh Ephesians 2 and uh, 3. If you're gonna fulfill something that's gonna make your flesh feel good, you gotta conceive that thought in your mind first, and then you go and do it. Okay. Well, we have a defense to fight against that lust, against that temptation. We have uh, the spirit of truth, okay? The Rakah Kodash. It comes in the form of us, uh, uh, these, the understanding of these scriptures, us having an understanding of these scriptures. So let me read that again, Ephesians 4 and 17. It says, This I say, therefore, and testify in the, in the Lord Yahweh Shai, that Ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, from there, I like to go to. Romans 12 and 2, because what we have to what we've all done. Okay. Once we came into this truth. We we uh we started a a voyage, okay, a mission, 
Okay, a journey using these different words of uh, renewing our mind, changing our mind so that we won't commit the same acts that we used to commit. Okay. We would so want to build up our spirit so that we can have a, 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 a conduct. We can walk a particular way here on this planet Earth, which is according to the law, statutes and commandments that are written in this Bible. So this is Romans chapter two, verse two. It says, and be not conformed to this world. Why is Paul saying be not conformed to this world? Because our minds was caught up into the into this world. OK, therefore, we walked according to this world. It says be not and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we have to change our mind or renew our mind. Just like I read earlier, uh, what was that uh, in uh, Second Corinthians? What was that at? The lock here. I'm gonna quote the scripture right. Second Corinthians five and uh, seventeen. We have to become new creatures but if the new becoming a new creature is it's really talking about in your mind okay like we like we reading right here uh romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transform okay change the form your form okay who you are what you stand for by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your how about Shem Shai? Okay, so the point out of this verse is you our minds have to be renewed. And when we believe that we were Hebrew Israelites, okay, and believed in what this Bible said, that's the process that started the process of us renewing our mind. Now we have a defense to fight against the old man that we used to be. OK. And this whole thing that's happening to us, this transformation is happening in our mind. So from there, I like to go to uh, Ephesians, Ephesians 4 and 23. So this is uh, Ephesians 4, verse 23. It reads and and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Okay. Renew from what? If you read uh, Ephesians, pretty much the whole book of Ephesians. And, you know, it's, it's uh, Paul epistles or an epistle to the, uh, the church of Eph at, at Ephesus. Israelite foreigners. Okay. Why they Israelite foreigners? Because they walked. Uh, uh, they were gen they were in a Gentile state of mind, okay, and they had to come back to the knowledge of who they are, uh, and they got to come. They had uh, access to come back and find out who they were, okay, and walk according to to this Bible, okay. Be uh. uh through through the Holy Spirit, okay, really through through Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai dying on the on the cross, okay. So I'm gonna read that again. This is Ephesians four and twenty three. It says, "And be renewed in the spirit of your mind," okay. I, I'll read on. Matter of fact, it says, "And that ye put on the new man." which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Okay. So it's all about changing your mind so that we can perform righteous acts here on this earth. Okay. And true holiness being separate from the world and, uh, uh cut off into this word. Okay. So from there, I'm going to go to Philippians two and five. This is Philippians two and five. It reads, 
let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So these are all these scriptures that I'm bringing out got the word mind in it. Okay. Because that's where the battle is at. Before anything gets done wicked or righteous, it starts in your mind. Okay. That's where the battle is at. If you gonna if you have that thought, when you go off, you think of you think of it before you do it. You don't just go off and do something wrong. You think about it. You sit there and you battle with yourself. Damn. And you gotta make that decision in your spirit in your mind in your mind whether you're gonna do what's right or you're gonna do what's wrong. And we got the defense system, okay? <laughs> we got the defense system, these scriptures. It's just that constant battle we're going to have to go through until we get up out of these corruptible bodies. That's what Paul was talking about in Romans, uh, the seventh chapter. That's why I can't wait till we get the fuck out of here and we so we won't have to deal with this shit. But as of now, we got to deal with it and we got to put up that fight and we can win the battle. OK, you can win the battle because we got the the the, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, uh, to fight with. Um, let me see. From there, so we want to have the same mind as Yahweh Shai, which is a mind of a complete understanding. Understanding what we're up against, understanding what we're dealing with. Okay? So from there, I'm going to bring out 1 uh, Peter, first Peter 1 13. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. It says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your minds, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Masayat. And what's going to happen then? Our bodies are going to be changed according to uh, 1 Corinthians the 15th chapter, our bodies are going to get changed so that the perfect law that's going to be written in our mind can have a perfect habitation, okay? Incorruptible body. And that's really, that's the only way that that pure mind that's can't go off, that's the only type of body, okay, an incorruptible body that it can dwell in. It can't dwell in this corruption right now. Okay? That's what we're waiting on. Uh, I got a couple of more scriptures and I'm going to close this lesson out. So I'm going to go to, uh, this is Colossians 1 and 21. Okay, this is Colossians chapter 1, verse 21. It says, it says, and you that were sometimes or sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has yet now has he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, present you holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in his sight. Uh, I'll read on. It says, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, all this happens in your mind. If you moved out of the uh, from this faith, okay, of the gospel, it's going to happen in your mind. Something's going to happen with your mind. You're going to get a hold to a different philosophy, okay? Your woman can draw you out of this thing. We didn't see guys uh, fall out. And the, the Passover... Is coming up. You, you, we all, you know, since I've been in the truth, I've seen guys fall out before, during, and after the Passover. The apostles has been witnessing this for 30 years, uh, 20, the upper 20, close to uh, 30 years, uh, 20 some years, 15, the elders, 15, uh, 20, 15 years, okay? 
the numbers vary, okay, depending on how long you've been in this truth. But, you know, um, this thing of men falling out of this truth, it all happens in the mind, okay? Uh, back in the 23rd verse, it says, If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, yeah, because when we heard this, we made a decision in our mind that I believe that, okay? And really was the most high that put the, uh, that gave us this uh, gift of faith. It says, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am a min uh, am made a minister, okay? So the point is that we can change from our, our wicked works which we were working, we were committing wicked works here on this planet because of our, where our mind was at. Our mind was cultivated, okay, to commit wicked acts here on this earth. Now that we have this truth, our mind is being, we're being born again. We're being planted. Uh, the, the, the seed, which is this word, is being planted in our mind and it's growing now, so suffocating all that old trash that that uh we had in our mind okay so last scripture this is gonna this is uh hebrews chapter eight this is what we waiting on hebrews chapter eight verse ten i'm gonna get straight to the to the point it says for this is the covenant that i will make with the house of israel uh, the house of Israel after those days said the Lord I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts same thing okay the heart is to also talking about the mind and I will be to them a, a God and they shall be to me a people and that's what we waiting to get the, the laws written in our mind so that we don't go off. We won't have to battle against the flesh at this point. When we get the laws written in our mind, uh, put in our mind, and written in our uh, heart, which is also talking about our mind. So that's the battle we're going to have to deal with. You know, the thing is, we are uh, offend less, okay? And uh, we don't live a life that's that's engulfed to serving the flesh, okay? Because we have the defense system, which is the is the scriptures, to live a life to where we're uh, our mind is engulfed in these scriptures, okay? So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory once again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. By Shema Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect and Shalom.